how to install Active Directory Connector. Just go to Sys Administrator Console and sign in there. There you will see something called Manage Connector. So Manage Connector you already know, right? While reconciliation we discuss. From here you can install any connector. So you can see this time we are getting Active Directory options as well, which we are not getting in the past. Okay. So using that you can simply install the connector. So always keep in mind if you want to install any connector you always need to jump to the manage connector and from there you have to choose the corresponding connector okay and how you will choose this corresponding connector you have to place this file in connector default directly and unzip it okay then only you will get this option then you have to click on load right so just click on load when you click on load this connector will be loaded and now it's ready to start installation okay so just please keep in mind i'm revising the things back here you just need to select the connector load it so this connector will is ready to install click on continue so it will take a few minutes because uh, this connector is a bigger connector it's 8 mb of connector compared to other connectors right these those connectors were in kb kilobyte so this connector will take some time okay so this connector will take some time and after this it will install so let it install so what happens when this connector will install this particular connector there are two important things you need to understand again one IT resource and active and resource object will be created one IT resource will be created and one resource object will be created resource object will be created the IT resource will be created with the name called active directory active directory okay and the resource object will be created with the name ad user so we are going to use this resource object in various places while creating application instance and all those things so what is it resource what is resource object if you don't know that's no, no need to worry we will discuss uh, uh, thoroughly after this okay but you should understand this at this moment so let it install it will take some time you can see it's waiting from ktpo.com let us wait So you can see the resource installation has been done click on exit and that's it it has been done now the question is what is it resource and resource object right and there is something called application instance okay so these things i will discuss in next video but in this video what i will do i'm just going to show you something let me go to the it resource click on search here you will see active directory it resources there click on edit you can see these many lookups and all those details are there like host name example.com like all those things right okay in the IT resource <clears throat> you can see there is uh, active directory IT resources there and connector server IT resources also there click on this and here all the connectors uh, details connector server detail you need to fill now you may have a question we not install anything connector server like this in OIM side we install only in AD side okay or scan or the window server side why it's showing connector server here because it's there in the connector folder you seen right out of the box connector server configurations are also present right from there we copied the missing bundles right so because of that this data is showing over here so these things we need to fill 